Right, here we've got a quick video that will show XBMC running on an Android tablet. Here we've got the um, Asus Transformer Prime, which is an Android tablet which also has a keyboard dock. And we have it connected to the internet by a USB Ethernet adapter as the uh, Wi-Fi signals quite bad up here. It, this is running Android 4.0.3 and it's got the NVIDIA Tegra 3 chipset in although it doesn't appear XBMC can make use of that yet as it struggles with uh, 720p and 1080p videos you can see there we've got the you can just see it says Ethernet port detected so if we load XBMC up you'll see that it starts up pretty quick and that's it, it's basically loaded there uh, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard here to go through the uh, menus but you can't use enter, spacebar, anything like that simply just the arrow keys so obviously in the future it may support like add-ons like maybe Bluetooth keyboards or docks for certain tablets if we just go into TV shows as this is connected to my network it's uh, picked up the library on the home server and as you can see there got 24 Alcatraz, American Dad all my different TV series which I also have on my uh, main XBMC unit which you can't see it there but that's behind the tellet so if we uh, go down if we just uh, click on an episode of 24 as the first series is in SD so that will play fine and that should start playing now that is streaming across the network as you can see that's flawless really the following takes place between midnight and 1am on the day of the California presidential primary events occur in real time Yeah, anyway, basically if you touch the screen, you'll get the menu up, which if you've used XBMC before, you'll recognise. We can touch on there and fast forward, and that should start playing again. You can uh, pause, I mean, it, it's quite usable, it might be um, harder on a very small touch screen, but even on my Galaxy Nexus, which I'm using to film this, it's um, quite usable. And functions quite well so if we just uh, stop that playing I'll just show you a uh, HD video playing it it does play it's just not it drops a few frames here and there on 720p video but a 1080p video that did not really uh, work too well at the moment so I've got 720p episode of future armor here Again, that's streaming across the network. Don't know if you'll be able to tell in this video, but that is a bit jerky every couple of seconds. But overall, that's not too bad, as I mean, must have over two or three terabytes of video in the library, so it can stream all that over the network. See the uh, sound and picture and everything's in sync. So if we just yeah see that 720p uh, video. See that RSS feed and everything. Uh, all the uh, plugins work as well. If we get back to videos, if we can't not the easiest to navigate on touchscreen but you sort of get used to where to move to do what so if we go video add-ons see we've got the iPlayer, TED Talks and YouTube all of them work fine so if we go on the iPlayer pick TV see if it's out on BBC3 Top Gear USA not actually watched these yet but I've been told it's uh, quite good so if we just click on one, that should start streaming from the iPlayer all being well. 
no, and it probably don't want to do it now I'm filming this but we'll try another one no sadly it don't look like it's going to do it it did do it earlier so obviously as you can see it's not perfect but I mean it's uh, now doing quite on well. top gear. Yeah, and there you go it's streaming from the BBC we choose our favorite cars from the movies and TV oh, this is sacrilege the soprano Steve Sharippa hits our track. All right, here we go, baby. And Tanner puts the new Subaru WRX to the test by racing it against a dirt bike. Uh, SD video, streaming fine over the internet there. Here we go, one more shot. So you can tell it's uh, quite functional considering it's still early in development. Then I'll just try and show you some of the um, settings here. Just got all the settings like on your normal XBMC. Can't change anything for a render method yet. I'm presuming like on your PC you'll be able to pick graphics accelerated and things like that once it's implemented. Uh, system settings as usual. Uh, we go back and actually click system info you can uh, basically see there I think you can just make out the free memory that's running Linux battery levels 40% storage it's mounted the internal memory of the transformer prime there uh, it sometimes crashes if you click network on here so I won't click that then obviously you've got video there GPU and video Tegra 3 got the uh, resolution 1280 by 752 I'm presuming that's because you've got the uh, bar down there which reserves a bit of the screen then if we click hardware you can see there core 0, 1, 2 and 3 total memory 983 megabytes 3, 288 so all in all that works quite well you can see there new episodes videos just works as you'd expect so yeah that's uh, xbmc on the asus transformer prime can't wait to see how this develops there'll be a download link in the description